Hello everyone, Enigo Snake here, and welcome back to my channel. Let's just get right into it. So, we're, we were basically going through our story events, and I am and I predicted that there's probably going to be a lot of scenes out of this. And I want to be... don't want to make my episodes Nothing too Nothing out of the ordinary has happened here in the old schoolhouse ever since that night. Yeah, that is weird. Like, did we break the spell? or We actually didn't figure everything out, though. Like, We kind of ended up pushing it to the back of our minds. What with the way things have been going in Crossbell? Huh? It's unlocked. I wonder if someone's already inside. George is in the engineering building right now, so it can't be him. If any of the students just idly wandered in here, they'd be in real danger. I should probably take a look inside, just in case. I checked around inside of the old schoolhouse, but there didn't seem to be anyone around. But all the same, I didn't want a chance leaving anyone down there. So I decided to check the seventh floor. Okay. Something happens. I know that this place really resonates with Reen, first of all, but his friends are with him as well. So the it seemed like the 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 schoolhouse was calling all of his friends, but notice that it resonated with Reen first, and he's the one that noticed the voice. Probably like there were times where he was the only one hearing the voice and others weren't so I think this has more to do with rain than anyone else Oh million Million Oh Reen come to take a sneak peek too is this where you've been the whole time? You do know we have class, right? Oh. Dang, I knew I was forgetting something. Honestly. She's acting flippant. Or, I don't know if flippant is the right word, but she's acting like, Oh, I'm just being my old crazy little self. But I think there might be a serious reason why she's here. and I wonder what she was thinking. So, what's piqued your interest? It doesn't look like this thing has anything in common with Aragetlum. Hmm, I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that it might, at least a little. Not the same, but like they share some kind of underlying principle. Yeah, I think, I think that part is true. I think there is some underlying principle. They are both still mechanical beings. Beings. <laughs> I've got no idea what you're talking about. Seriously, Rain? Okay. I guess you wouldn't really understand without being connected. But now it makes sense why Gramps asked me to keep an eye on this place, though. I had no idea there'd be something this cool down here. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Chancellor Osborne? Did he know there was something like this here? Not really sure. He just asked me to keep an eye on the building itself. And said to let him know if anything unusual happened. Whoopsie! That was supposed to be confidential. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why he, Chancellor Osborne puts so much trust in a little girl like that. Like, it's, it seems, uh, it, what's the word I'm looking for? It seems, um, irresponsible. That's the word. It seems very irresponsible. Especially if he really wants to keep secrets and all that. Like, you don't tell it to this little girl. She's gonna actually spill the beans constantly. So, the Chancellor has an interest in our quaint old schoolhouse, does he? We did just find out that Captain Claire is a Thor's graduate, but... Hey, what you thinking about? Say, Milliam, was investigating the old schoolhouse the reason you enrolled at the Academy? Mmm, well, sorta, but it was more of a side thing. There was a more important reason, but that kinda stopped being a concern. So I guess it's just this now. Something more important than this? Hmm. Not sure what she's getting at. Doesn't sound like she's trying to hide something important from me, though. Oh, yeah! It's almost time for Graham's speech, isn't it? I guess I should head back and listen to him drone on. Oh, so you already knew about that. We were all planning to listen in the classroom. Sweet! I'll just listen with you guys, then. What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Nothing keeps you down for long, does it? 
I don't know if she's playing 4D chess or she's really just just saying shit like that. Like, is everyone is Osborne this stupid and crazy to be letting her know these confidential information, knowing that she was gonna let people in class seven know about it accidentally? There's always a chance. Like, is there a 4D chess player out here right now? Just, I don't understand. It could just all of this. She may she may be smarter than she looks or dumber than she looks or just at the just at the right level. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, you haven't seen Crow around anywhere, have you? Huh? Nope. Is he cutting class too? Well, he's probably just hiding out somewhere on campus. None of the others have seen him though. I wonder if he went into town. Huh? Maybe. Want to try looking around Trista? I'll come with you. Sounds like a good idea. If he's not on the school grounds, chances are he's somewhere in town. All right, let's see if we can find him. Okay, so I thought there was gonna be a whole bunch of scenes, but I was totally wrong. So it's, it seems like we're just gonna be able to go into town and there's gonna be a whole bunch of other people to talk to. Can I switch? Okay, I have to do this so teleport thingy. Oh, maybe I should have seen if I can walk further in. Wait, let me see if they... Okay, they locked it. And it's locked. Okay, let's go look for Crow. Alright, so... I mean, I have a feeling they probably wouldn't have just let me go through... Even if I had Milliam with me. Yes, can I sir. switch? Hey, let's have Milliam out here. I'm tired of looking at Reen. <laughs> let's see if people have, um... Changed their... Change their thought bubble, their talk bubbles, text boxes. Let's see. Are we still fishing out here together? Yes, we are. All right, let's talk to this lady. Even the flowers seem upset by this turn of events. Perhaps they sense our anxiety. There, there. You little flowers don't have anything to worry about. All right, so yeah, everyone's saying the same thing, but they have the conversation has been reset, so I can read the first thing they say and then the second thing they say. But let's go to the front gate. Okay, so are we gonna track down Crow? Might as well. I guess we should start with the dorms first. Maybe Sharon knows where he's gone. Okie dokie! Okay. So the next place would be the dorms next. All right, but they are letting us talk to everybody. So well, let's see what we can find out here. Milliam seems to run faster than people, but she's probably running at the same speed. She just, it just, she just feels way lighter. I've got my own radio, so I'll be listening to the speech in my room. I hear the chancellor's got a great voice, but to be honest, the only one I want, the only one I want to hear right now is Misty's. Yes, we understand. Oh crap. Like how my mic was in the wrong space the whole time. All right. Yes, we know how huge of a fan you are. Why couldn't they just have had her do the announcement? What? <laughs> Jeez. The Ben Tine's been on a hiatus, hiatus since all the urgent news we broadcast got started. God, I miss the sound of her voice. Jeez, a huge fan, just gigantic fan. Like he probably jacks off to her voice. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. The situation has all of us incredibly worried. But even so, we can't let it get us down. There's still lots left for us to do, so I'll get back to helping Toa once I've calmed down a bit. She said she'll be dis distributing orbital radios throughout the academy, so I might be able to help her with that. Yeah, you'll be able to help her out, as far as I know. <laughs> she, she definitely needs help, and we probably can't go up there, but I'm gonna try. There's no reason for us to head past here. Okay. <laughs> You've never been able to head past there. So, I don't- where's the sweeping girl, or lady, or woman? Like, I wonder if we could still do that. Most of the upper class students have returned home. I'm sure that the lower class students will follow in- follow in suit if war breaks out. But if that happens, what's going to become of the academy? Perhaps I should push those thoughts from my mind. I'm sure my worry won't help matters. What will become of the academy if a war breaks out? Uh, I should just focus on cleaning. You... I don't know, like... I don't know. 
if her job is okay, if her job will be okay if a war breaks out. They might shut down the school. And she might have to find some other place of employment. Never know. <laughs> but maybe they won't because they they would they'll need more and more people to join the military. Lady Fair Ferris has declared in no uncertain terms that she will not be leaving the Academy. As a maid of the Floral family, it is my duty to heed the wishes of both Lady Ferris and Master Vincent. With that in mind, it seems we will remain at Thor's for a while longer. There is a very real chance that, given the danger of our situation, that will cease to be a viable option. Should that be the case, I will drag the two of them back home myself. Oh wow. She's dragging people home. <laughs> Father strictly demanded that I return home. However, I cannot heed such a command. I am the graceful and noble Vincent Floral. One such as I could never flee if it meant leaving his beloved sister behind. Bearing that in mind, I must convince Ferris to return home with me at once. Where I am graceful, she is clumsy, you see. It would hardly befit me to leave her on her own. Uh, is that the reason? Because she's clumsy? Oh my gosh. Oof. He's still being uh, rather insufferable, but... You know, he cares- look, he cares about his sister, so... So I think we'll just keep going down here. <laughs> Have you forgotten how badly you lost to me doing the festival already? That's why I want to take you on again. I've been sharpening up my skills since then, so let's play some Blade. It doesn't matter. You're still gonna lose. You're really getting on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, he's being annoying. How about this? I'll give you this picture of Rosine from the festival if you beat me. Then you're going down. Wait, where'd you even get that? Oh my gosh. Uh. So, I guess they're stuck in a conversation. Both of us can destroy Crow now, so it's time we settle things between us. You're looking for Crow? Sorry, haven't seen him today. Oh, yeah, I am looking for Crow. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's right, I'm forgetting about the fact that we're looking for Crow. I'm getting worse than these NPCs. The current state of affairs has caused many people to come here and offer their prayers. Deception Church is an advocate of peace and rationality. Is that right? Peace and rationality. <sighs> I like rationality. I do like that. In times like these, we must do all we can. Let us pray so that idiots may save our sinful souls. But then he mentions sin. Um, good lord, this game got the whole, like, relig religion can be somewhat paradoxical down pack. One must not abandon their faith, no matter the circumstance. I trust that Adios will lead us all down the correct path. Let us pray so that the teachings of the church may provide us a light in these dark times. I trust that the Adios will lead us all down the correct path. Let us pray so that the teachings of our church may provide us a light in these dark times. And did you have something else to say? Deception Church is an advocate of peace and rationality. Let us pray so the souls may save or sinful souls. Okay. Alright. Not the worst things they could say in this situation. They don't seem to be hurting the situation, let's say that. And we'll put a great big green check mark in our book. Where's Kenny today? It's so boring without him. Oh, he's um he's hanging out with the old girl. <laughs> Let's see. Unbelievable. Usually shopping is all it takes to lift my spirits, but it's not having any effect today. I never expected this anxiety to impact my day to day life this much. I should go home to listen to the Chancellor's speech, too. Hopefully things will be sorted out soon and I can get back to enjoying my shopping sprees again. But lord, you and your shopping sprees. I just, look, the amount of money that must go into these things. Everyone at the Academy seems worried about how things will play out. Try to cheer up, though. Even if things seem bad now, I'm sure it'll all work out. You know, people dying and all that, that'll work out. If you stay pessimistic, if you stay pessimistic all the time, you won't notice any of the good things that happen. Flowers may wither away, but the world goes on. We just have to keep believing that everything will work out. Yay! 
I just added, added a yay at the end because it seemed fitting. Let's talk to the person walking around. Oh, this guy. It's the same usual suspects, guys. Cosmo's new weapon is like a waking nightmare. Not even our armored division stand a chance. This may well be our end. No, as long as Chancellor Osborne is here to lead us, I'm sure things will be fine. If anyone can lead this country through the times this trying, it's the Chancellor. I'm sure Chancellor Osborne will be able to get us through this. They call him the Blooded Iron Chancellor because he's in his element when things are at their most perilous. Yeah, they, they, I've heard that. But I wonder if Osborne didn't put us into the situation, or didn't help put us into that situation. Like, as much as I want to be on the side of the reformists, it seems like they really want to start war, and that's... I'm against war. I'm anti-war. I don't like that shit. Everyone I talk to nowadays seems so sad. It's kind of depressing. But I can't let them get me down. I've got to stay on my toes. I'll cheer everyone on... I'll, I'll cheer everyone up by giving them my brightest smile when they come in. I can't change the situation by myself, but I can try to make everyone's days a little happier. If I don't, maybe I'll end up depressed too. Wow. Very advanced thoughts for a little girl. <laughs> the fact that she's thinking about everyone else. That's crazy. I just- I like how tiny Millium is. Like, it's just- I feel like I'm getting places faster. <laughs> it's hilarious. They closed the office for the day, so I just got back. I'm glad I got to list get to listen to the big speech at home, at least. All signs are pointing to those rumors I've heard being true, though. Are we really on the brink of another war? Maybe I could take my family back to the countryside. Maybe. <laughs> There's an awful lot to be worried about these days, especially the increasing number of demonstrations in Heimdall. I put on a brave face for my husband, but it gets scarier to watch him leave for work every day. No matter what Chancellor Osborne has to say, I just want my husband to stay by my side. There's nothing more important to me than my family. All I want is to have them by my side. Yeah, I understand that. Alright, so now it's time to go to these buildings, see if they're even open. So I think this is not on the uh, list of places we can go to. Okay, cool, it's open. <laughs> this will be the first time we do a live broadcast of an event, so it was tough to find people who could pull it off. I'm mainly worried about our reporter, though. This is the one time you can't afford to slip up. Don't let me down now. You're always skipping pre-show meetings and pulling it off perfectly either way. So show, show me you can pull that off here. I don't think I've ever seen her slip up once when I think about it. She's a damn, she's a damn troublemaker. But she's also a damn good one. I'm amazed she knows what I want her to do even after skipping our meetings. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Like, almost like unrealistic. I don't think I've ever seen her slip up once when I think about it. Alright. Kids, don't skip meetings. Like, go to the freaking meetings. You you may not know everything. Like, you probably don't. Most most likely you don't know everything and this and even if you do, it's good to be to be reminded of things. Because you may forget. We're planning to broadcast Chancellor Osborne's statement here at Radio Trista as well. It'll be happening at noon on the dot, so make sure you don't miss it. This speech is going to affect us too. We're going to be listening with bated breaths as we, with bated breath as we broadcast it. It's almost time for the chancellor's statement. I have to admit, I'm getting nervous. Almost time. I like. I just want to sit around and waste time talking to people. <laughs> Interesting. They got a little soundboard going on. They got like, like a place where people could sit down and talk. That's pretty cool. Nice little setup. My setup's not that cool, guys. <laughs> I need a soundboard. <clears throat> that was that was my voice cracking. I need a damn soundboard so that my voice can stop skipping over shit. And so let's go to this cafeteria or inn. Everyone's so tense these days. It's just awful. Even Fred's starting to tell me I can go back home if it makes me more comfortable. Isn't that a silly thing to say? How can I go back home when I'm all there? Trista is my home. I've been here for a long time and I've grown, grown to love it. Besides, Grandmother has moved on from Sutherland to Adios aside, so I don't intend on living anywhere but here. Oh, she used to live with her grandmother. I guess 
we kind of knew that too because uh, every morning she goes in and prays to Adios or something or talk to her grandmother whatever she does in there I've been here for a long time I've grown to love it this, okay let's talk to these people our company's taking a big hit due to the IBC asset freeze but that hit became a wound when they stopped the transcontinental road yeah probably because if you guys depend on imports oops we have been using airships to bring stuff in from the borough, but there's only so much they can carry. I'll probably base my next moves on what we are doing the speech. As Becky said, commerce is all about product flow. I'll probably base my next moves on what we hear during the speech. Oh my god, this woman is here to fuck everything up. <laughs> Gotta get away from her. Alright. <laughs> Things are lo aren't looking too good right now. The chance got some little to Continental Railroad's been stopped, so the government might have, have to buy vegetables and crops indirectly. May, my, da, my dad in Celtic's a wholesaler, so he's panicking a little, like mental too. The Grand Mark is Dan he ha now, thanks to this, so it's safe to say that commerce in general is no looking good. Com commerce is all about the flow of product and people. The situation stopping that for happening though, so things aren't looking too good for commerce. Yep, yep, there's there's a lot of people affected by war. Not in a great way. I knew it. I knew things were going to get worse. <sighs> what is this world coming to? I hope we can keep our youngsters from getting involved in all this at least. No, they're going to be the main people getting involved. We adults caused all these problems, so it's only natural that we suffer the consequences. You youngsters don't deserve to be punished for our sins. Sure, you can think of it that way, but I mean, this is how that shit works. And also, the younger people also learn things from the from the adults and sort of continue on traditions and shit like that. So you're not completely innocent. You are a product of your environment. I think that's I just think that's the case. <laughs> All these rumors about Gorelia Fortress being wiped out and Calvert invading us are starting to pick up a lot of traction. I can't even laugh at the crazy stuff Old Man Abbott says anymore. All I can do is help people try to forget that stuff with, that stuff with a good cup of coffee. There's that. I've got an orbital radio here, so I'm gonna listen to the speech with all of my customers. Might as well treat them to a round of coffee on the house while we're listening. That's nice of you. I don't know if it, like, get, give me some... Give me a smoothie or something like, or tea or something like. I don't, I don't know if I want coffee. Oh, no one's, no one's in the hotel right now. Yeah, everyone's like, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> like, wasn't the festival just yesterday? Like, did people just leave immediately? Good God. <laughs> I've told the rest of the shopkeepers to make sure they listen to the speech at noon, mainly because we gotta have a meeting about what to do next once it's over. Still, no matter what the Chancellor says in the statement, I'm not going to let anything happen to Tizel. Me and the other shopkeepers are going to have a meeting about what to do next once the speech is done with. No matter how things turn out, we've just we've just got to keep going. Wow, this game has thought of everything! Huh. What kind of, what kind of um, thing can she make uh, with the omelette? Like, it has to be either um, soft and fluffy or a warm egg soup for it to be good. <laughs> You're a funeral! Huh? This actually looks edible! Um, I think that cuts it, cuts it even right there. Simple omelet. Speaking of omelets, I really want an omelet. <laughs> I really like omelets and egg foo young. Which is like, I feel like a variation variation of omelet because of all the stuff you do. You're adding vegetables to egg and you're pan frying it. So it's a, it's a variation of egg and it has a really, very, really tasty sauce that goes with it. Which is different from like, the omelet that I usually make are ones where like, you can add cheese to it. Where the egg for young is something you add like a gravy-like substance. Gravy-like, like base to it. Both are so good. 
Alright, let's go to this boutique. Oh, hey. Colette. My parents sent me an extra big allowance, but I'm really not in the mood to spend it. <sighs> I guess this is another day of window shopping for me. Your parents must have a lot of money. I don't know where she's from, but she's not poor. She's not that poor, let's say that. Or at least her parents really, like, really spend money on her. I'm not going to be able to do this kind of stuff if we end up going to war, am I? Uh, just thinking about it, it's making me depressed. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Obtaining fabric has become a real pain now that the Transcontinental Railroad has been shut down. Our owner is very picky about the quality of the fabric we use too, so it's possible that we'll have to close. You truly never know what life has in store for you, do you? I never could have seen this coming. Yep, looks like you're gonna have to find another job. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying things like this, like that to a customer. As of now, we're still open for business. Go ahead and browse around. This might be one of your last chances. Yeah, that's... Wow, that makes me a little depressed. <laughs> we're in the boutique right now, aren't we? Yeah, this is the boutique. Alright, so let's go to the bookstore. Oh, it's just him in here. I honestly still find this whole situation hard to believe. Corellia Fortress is impregnable. What kind of crazy weapon did Crossbow use in order to take it down like that? It's like something out of a fiction. I'm half convinced it's all a hoax. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Rationality, says the Sepsian Church, right? Seems like everyone else is as taken aback by this as I am. I'm glad the kids are still cheerful enough, at least. Seeing some happy faces makes dealing with all this a bit easier. So what do you have in your shop here? I don't have this one. Let me look at that one, actually. Okay, do, do we get the picture in that? Uh, books. I'll read like the first two pages. On October 24th, 1621 Grelia Fortress, the military stronghold on the eastern side of the Erebonia Empire was, was obliterated. Obliterated. The cause of this destruction is believed to be an unknown weapon developed by Crossbell, which recently declared independence. Damage report, the foundation of the fortress remains, but most of it has been destroyed. Reportedly, the number of survivors is extremely small. Like there's Nightheart. Like he's, that sounds, he sounds even more luckier and luckier by the minute making it impossible to ascertain exactly what the cause was. The 5th Armored Division, including its commanding officer, Lieutenant General Walter, also fell in the attack. Oh well. Leaving the fate of the soldiers who were part of it unknown. Current situation. The 4th, 6th, 9th, and 11th Armored Divisions have gathered in the Empire's eastern border, and the area to the east of the Twin Dragons Bridge is on high alert. Additionally, the Cruisin' Print Provincial Army at the Twin Dragons Bridge in Nord Nordia Provincial Army at the Swars Drac Barrier, have been dispatched. Have both dispatched battalions and are preparing themselves for whatever may occur. The Transcontinental Road has also suspended services indefinitely. All right, so I'll still, I'll stop it here for you guys, but I'll just show it so you guys can read it if you want to. We're talking about the uh, demonstrations. Right, it looks like the editor in chief even gave like a like a notice to the readers. That's interesting. All right, there you go. That's current events article. <laughs> but okay, let's go to the punch. I'm sure he has something interesting to say because he's a information broker. We've learned. It's been a few days now since Croswell declared their independence. Guess the chancellor's just about to make his move. He's not exactly known for holding back when he means business. Or better or worse, things are going to start happening and fast. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, don't get so down, kid. I ain't proud of it, but I get stuff wrong all the time. This might be the same deal. <laughs> Seems like he's actually trying to cheer me up. That's weird. Maybe he's starting to warm up to us. He doesn't seem like a terrible person. He just, you know, he's just a rough dude. Like, he just, he doesn't, he, he doesn't use all the uh, nice words with people. And he probably rubs people the wrong way. Just keep listening to your radio. Whatever happens today is going to be one for the history books. Yeah, 
I've, I've heard this a few times now. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we have actually talked to everybody. Like, I think we did it in this one episode. That's great. <laughs> Let's, okay, you know what? I'm gonna cross my fingers, right? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the dorms and see if anything, uh, happens. Hopefully not, it doesn't take too long. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see either of you back so early. Welcome home. Hello again, Sharon? We're back! <laughs> oh, it seems all of your classes have been cancelled today. I heard from Lady Sarah that you would be remaining on the campus, though. Well, that was the plan. Say, Crow hasn't been back here, has he? Master Crow? Well, actually, he just returned a short while ago. Oh, he did? Indeed. However, I don't believe he stayed long. It seems he was here just long enough to go to his room, then he left again. Sounds like we just missed him. Maybe he forgot something here and came back to pick it up? Hmm, I don't know. Should we check his room just in case? Yeah, might as well while we're here. <laughs> well, if you need anything, just let me know. Alright, that wasn't bad. We weren't bombarded with a ton of scenes. I'm always worried. I'm always worried about that. <laughs> as I don't know, I don't know how this game is structured. But, alright, I think this is the perfect time to stop. We're gonna continue having the cute little teeny tiny Millium as as our little mascot right now. I, I like how I'm warming up to her. I'm so annoyed with her, but I'm warming up to her. All right, I, I like I like her little striped tights going on here. Like I would wear that shit. Like the the whole the whole aesthetic right here. I'd do that shit. I don't have the clothes necessary to pull this off, but in theory, if I did, I would I would do this shit. So. As always, I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.